All right, we are back. Hello there. And today, <laughs> bringing you a battle against Booby Pants. Let's hop into it, huh? Fire gym on the line. Not an official gym, but well, not an official gym battle, but I'm gonna display this team anyways. You guys have seen his background already for the most part. As Darkrai makes the lead. This. Is intense, but I kind of had a feeling that that would be the lead, so I lead off with Blaziken. Um, both of these mods are Uber. If anybody's following the tiers, right? Still Uber. Both of these mods, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, Darkrai tries to go for the hypnosis since Dark Void has been nerfed so hard. I get the speed boost. Darkrai stays in and is gonna catch this superpower right to the chin. Down goes Dark Ride. Down goes a pretty big threat because if something's slower than it is on the field, uh, it can catch some hypnosis or some hypnoses and uh, give me some trouble. So now in comes Miltank, shredding its stuff. I decide to get up out of there since I am a uh, attack down, defense down. I bring in Arcanine to lower Miltank's attack. Kind of try to see what this mill tank wants to do, and it begins to roll out. Hints of Whitney's mill tank. Flashbacks. PTSD starting to really kick in, honestly. Another rollout coming out. Power increasing, but mill tank is taking some rocky helmet damage. I missed the will o wisp, which could have helped with the rollouts. Alas, another rollout will come out. Mill tank gets a little bit of rocky helmet. We finally hit the will o wisp. Our health has been brought close to the halfway mark. Mill tanks rollouts getting stronger and stronger. How much will it do with a burn? We shall see. What does this do? Still a pretty good amount, but now it's taking well burn damage as well as rocky helmet damage. We get a little bit of morning sun going. I was about to say sunburned. But anyways, Miltank takes the sunburn. Not really. Um, Now what do we do? Oh, yeah. It can't do anything else but continue to roll out. And this is where it shows its real power. You see that damage? That damage? That was legitness. Exactly. It's pretty. It's a good amount of damage, actually. Despite it being burned. That is potent. So, it's going to go down to the burn? No, it's not. Lives it with a sliver of health, and now it's gonna go down to an extreme speed. So, the next mon to make its way onto the field is Tapu Coco, setting up an electric surge all over the battlefield. Getting a little wilder, a little wilder. So, I decide to go switch out into my easy bake oven as the Z move comes out. What Z-move is this? I know which one it is. So. We shall wait and see what happens here. As the guardian of Alola. Rears! It's face. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Yeah, it only takes a certain percentage of your health. I mean, yeah, of your HP, so yeah. It does not KO. Just brings me to the brink. And then Nature's Madness comes out, which just could have been a better play there. Because uh, it just allows me to crack my berry, get off an overheat. Overheat does pitiful damage. Well, not pitiful. Actually, that's not pitiful damage. It's okay. It's okay. As another Nature's Madness comes in. So... My special attack is down. Nature's Madness shows itself off. Will this overheat be enough? It is not! Tabu Coco hanging strong. What's the next move? An electric ball. No, electro ball. Comes out. With a critical hit. Easy bake still. Hanging on. We go for the T-Bolt. Down goes the Tabu Coco. In comes Ninetales. 
What's Ninetales gonna wanna do? It sets up the blizzard! So, snow. Let's see how it fares against the fire team. I decided to switch out into Torque to kinda regain the sunlight! Or, start the sunlight, really, because it was never really there. Ninetales goes for an extra sensory. Let's see how much this does. It does a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. Like, feeling confident, feeling good. I'm gonna set up some rocks, maybe some late game rocks. Wrong! <laughs> Ninetales has other plans for that as Sheer Cold comes in, comes out, and knocks out, actually. It connects. So, I switch out. Well, not switch out. I bring in Charizard now. No more games! Must deal with the sheer cold. So, I decide to go for a Dragon Dance thinking, what are the chances that this thing hits again, right? What are the chances? Well, it's me playing, so it's probably a good chance that it could hit again. But, a Hypnosis comes out. Thankfully, it misses. Um, so, I'm going to go for the Flame Charge the following turn. Down goes nine tails. Up goes my speed. Down goes nine tails. In comes Scizor. And Scizor, this is your worst nightmare. This under the sun is just gonna completely annihilate you. Speed going up. So down goes Scizor. Sunlight fades. Big Teeny comes in. Honestly, I think this was one of the more. Well, actually, no, that that sheer cold was pretty shocking. But this was also shocking. The fact that this lived that. I uh, was pretty shocked about it. I had my mouth open for a little bit. But it was nothing too dramatic. And we are able to get the victory over Poopy Pants. That was the battle. I want to see more challenges. <laughs> Gotta go.